12.19 a.m. up Atlanta, Dave Dombrowski wanted to find a starting pitcher before Tuesday's 6 p.m. ET trade deadline. He got one with minutes to spare. He got a center fielder and a reliever, too. The Phillies announced Tuesday that they acquired right-hander Noah Syndergaard and outfielder Brandon Marsh in separate deals with the Angels, as well as right-hander David Robertson in a trade with the Cubs. The Phillies woke up Tuesday morning 55-47 and holding the third and final NL wild card spot, with a 59.4% chance to make the postseason, for fan graphs. That's an encouraging spot for a team that has not reached the postseason since 2011, when they won the NL East. The Phils believe Tuesday's trades bolstered their chances even further. I think we're a lot better ball clip, Dombrowski said. We've got a tough division and tough people who are in the race, but I think we're better. How much better are we? We tried to address certain areas, knowing that we're getting, Gene, Segura back soon. And, Bryce, Harper is making progress, which is very encouraging. The Phillies needed Syndergaard because right-hander Zach Eflin is sidelined indefinitely with an injured right knee. He is on the 60-day injured list, which means he cannot rejoin the team until August 25th, at the earliest. There is no timetable for his return. Bailey Falter stepped into Eflin's role, but the Phillies were concerned about their pitching depth. If something happened to another starter, they would be in trouble. Even with those concerns, Philadelphia found the asking price for some starting pitchers on the market to be too high. Other teams wanted top pitching prospects Andrew Painter and Mick Abel, who both rank in MLB Pipeline's top 100 list. The Phillies said no each time. Teams asked for Griff McGarry, who ranks 7th in the Phillies system. They said no again. The Phillies and Angels had been talking about Syndergaard for days, but it seemed like nothing was going to happen. Then, the Angels called at the last minute. I guess whatever else they were working on didn't work for them, Dombrowski said. The Phillies sent outfielder Mickey Moniak and Class A outfielder Jody L. Sanchez to Los Angeles to complete the deal. Philadelphia will assume the $7 million or so remaining on Syndergaard's contract. Now, Syndergaard, 29, is not the hard-throwing Thor of seasons past with the Mets. His fastball once averaged 97 to 98 miles per hour. It averages 94 miles per hour these days, but he is 5 to 8 with a 3. 83 ERA and a 1. 2 war and 15 starts with the Angels. He's still throwing mid-90s, Dombrowski said. He's just a different pitcher. He's got a great sinker at this point. He's pitched very effectively this year in a 5-6 inning type of role.